so basically uh, our agenda our mission is to make you our hcsa certification ready okay this is the first level of certification from red hat which proves that you are a capable linux administrator okay if you have cleared our hcsa exam then you will be getting a certificate and this proves that you know how to work on a linux server this proves that you know how to run commands and how to administer the the operating system okay and while we make you you know prepared for the exam we are going to learn about these topics for example we will start with the basic commands hum sabse pehle commands sikhenge ki linux server pe commands run kaise karte hain aur commands kyun sikhna hai why are we learning commands because when we say server operating system we do not get a gui okay hame gui nahi milega hum mouse nahi use kar payenge hame graphics nahi dikhega colors nahi dikhenge hame kya dikhega we will just see a screen like this a black screen with white text okay like this we will see like this okay aur yahan pe sirf commands hi chalti hain we can only run commands over here okay this is called a command line interface अगर हम ग्राफिक्स की बात करें जैसे ये स्टार्ट बटन आपको दिख रहा है दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ जी यू आई ग्राफिकल यूजर इंटरफेस तो जी यू आई नहीं मिलता सर्वर ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम में बहुत रेयर है मिल सकता है बट मोस्टली नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम यू विल ओनली गेट एक्सेस टू दिस कमांड लाइन इंटरफेस ओके ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज आई सेड हाउ टू रन कमांड्स द बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द कमांड्स जब हमें कमांड्स आ जाएंगी देन वी विल मूव अहेड to the user management how to create users how to manage users how to change the password you know all these things after that we are going to learn about local storage configuration which means how to partition the hard disk how to work with hard disk hard disk mein partitions kaise banane hain aur file system kaise write karna hai file system ka matlab uh jaise thoda layman language mein abhi batata hu aage ja ke pura explain karunga फॉर एग्जाम्पल जैसे मेरे सी ड्राइव डी ड्राइव आप देख सकते हैं स्क्रीन पे राइट सी ड्राइव को मैं राइट क्लिक करता हूँ प्रॉपर्टीज में जाता हूँ तो मुझे एक दिखता है फाइल सिस्टम एन टी एफ एस ठीक है तो फाइल सिस्टम इज वॉट इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ मैकेनिज्म विच डिसाइड हाउ द डेटा विल बी स्टोर इन द हार्ड डिस्क और इन द पार्टीशन ओके इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ अ सॉफ्टवेयर एज यू कैन सी सो एन टी एफ एस इज प्रोवाइडेड बाई माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विंडोज बट इन लाइन एक्स there is a different file system it is called ext and there is another one it is called xfs so i will teach you how to work with those file system okay and they have their own usages xfs or ext ka apna alag alag use case hota hai wo aapko main course ke sath batata chalunga and after this we are going to learn about how to you know uh, manage your operating system for example आपका सर्वर रिबूट हुआ इफ योर सर्वर इज रिबूटिंग एंड इट इज गिविंग यू प्रॉब्लम ओके आफ्टर द रिबूट द सर्वर इज गिविंग प्रॉब्लम इट इज नॉट कमिंग अप आपको स्क्रीन नहीं दिख रहा है आपको कुछ नहीं दिख रहा है तो हाउ टू ट्रबल शूट ओके सो वी विल लर्न अबाउट द कंप्लीट बूट प्रोसेस हाउ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम बूट एक लाइनिक सर्वर ऑन कैसे होता है बैकग्राउंड में क्या प्रोसेस चलते हैं जिसकी वजह से एक आपका ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम ऑन होता है सक्सेसफुली ऑल राइट and after that we are going to learn about how to install <coughs> and configure various type of servers for example a web server i will teach you how to host your own website okay to jab hum jab hum yahan pe pahunchenge aapko ek apni website ko launch karna aa jayega okay you can also launch your own website after that we will just uh, have a look on basic networking networking in linux okay how to configure ip address how to configure uh dns all those things okay and then the essential part of linux which is called security linux mein do security modules hain number 1 firewall number 2 se linux okay as i as you can see in the last line se linux all right so se linux and firewall are two major security components and we should know as a administrator we should know how to manage them and इनका यूसेज आपको मैं आगे जाके बताऊंगा कि इनको यूज कैसे करना है इनका फायदा क्या है राइट आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट कंटेनर्स आई होप मोस्ट ऑफ यू नो व्हाट कंटेनर इज ओके लाइक यू हैव हर्ड डॉकर ओके सो डॉकर इज अ कंटेनर प्लेटफॉर्म 
Similarly, in Linux also we have Podman, a container platform. Okay, so we will know we will you know learn about containers and how to run applications in containers, etc. After that, I will teach you how to write your own shell scripts. Shell script is a kind of a code file which contains Linux commands. Okay, if you have to you know perform some action on multiple servers. A similar action on multiple servers, then you can create a small shell script. You can run the script on multiple servers. It will help you a lot. It will save your time, right? And finally, I will give you the introduction of Ansible automation tool. All right. For example, let's say there are hundred servers and you have to update them. There is a command yum update. You have to run yum update command on hundred servers. Okay. Normally. If you do not know automation, what will you do? You will log into server number one. You will run the command. You will reboot the server, and then you will go to server number two. So you know, updating hundred servers will take approximately like maybe three the uh, three days. You know, one by one, if you are doing it. So if you know automation, you can do the same job in less than one hour. Okay. So I will teach you how to you know in, configure your own automation tool, which is Ansible. Okay, so this will this is not the complete Ansible course. Ansible course is approximately fifty hours course, and it is for the preparation of the second level exam, which is called RHCE. Okay, so this is this will be an introduction part. I will be explaining you how you can create your own automation as well, so that when you are ready for the interviews, you know something about Ansible, you will be able to answer the questions. Okay, it will help you a lot. All right. guys so let's move ahead okay so till now we have just learned what linux is why linux is used okay and what are we going to learn so first of all the first thing you should know is what is an operating system okay you know operating system is just a software just a piece of software okay which is capable of managing the hardware the server hardware like motherboard cpu ram hard disk usb ports lan uh, adapter okay or network adapter everything is hardware so operating system is capable of managing hardware efficiently which includes ram management also okay which includes multitasking also if if your operating system is not capable of multitasking so that operating system is useless in today's time right so you know uh, accordingly we have managing multiple users so operating system should be able to manage multiple users because obviously kisi server pe agar bahut sare users login karke kaam karenge tabhi to efficiency niklegi aisa to nahi ho sakta ki ek server pe sirf ek user hai and process management obviously ek server pe bahut kaam chal rahe hote hain you know there are multiple uh, programs running in a server operating system so a good operating system should be able to manage all the processes which are running and error handling and logging if there is any error in the operating system maybe error or just a message from any uh, program like the program exited successfully or the program failed right so these are called messages so message handling is a very crucial part of any operating system so all these points are applicable for any operating system maybe linux maybe windows maybe android operating system for your phone maybe ios for apple for apple devices right so these are some basic things for any operating system okay now coming to the brief history of linux from where did this linux operating system emerge back in 1960s 1970s there was a very popular operating system which is which was called unix it was developed using c language okay and uh, unix was very popular and it was used by all the enterprises by all the companies okay so it was very popular back then and linus torvalds was a st student okay in 1970s and he was a engineering student so what he did was he Uh, got interested in unix operating system and wanted to make his own unix like operating system all right so from there he uh, developed the linux operating system from scratch he gave the operating system name as linux l i n u x 
and who is the developer linus torvalds okay so linus torvalds is the creator of linux okay so linux basically started the work in 1970 okay and after like many years uh, of development he he also took help of other developers also okay and since he was using the help of other developers he thought why not why not to make this linux operating system open source so that anyone can download the source code modify it add a new feature and upload it for the community okay so first first thing to remember linux operating system is a open source operating system okay since it is open source anyone is allowed to download it for free modify it okay anyone can download anyone can modify and anyone can redistribute it also by a different name so because of these features you see there are so many operating systems linux based like red hat linux ubuntu kali linux so all of them have one thing in common it is the linux base operating system which is provided by linus torvalds okay so linus torvalds still date tries to update it time to time so ye linus linux operating system update hota rehta hai aur wahan se jab ye update ho jata hai to badi badi companies jaise red hat ubuntu ye linux download karti hain aur sari updates ko incorporate karti hain apne product mein okay to jaise like i just told you that there are you know many flavors of linux available one of which is red hat enterprise linux so red hat is a very big company of the world okay recently ibm uh, took over this organization uh, when there was a deal of some billion dollars 30 billion 40 billion dollars okay so now red hat is the is under ibm all right so red hat is a very big organization and linux uh, red hat enterprise linux is one of their product basically red hat has a, a very big catalog of products one of which is linux operating system okay red hat linux version 8 is the latest one okay so i am going to make you make you learn everything about uh, red hat linux okay and uh, you can you know download the red hat linux version 8 as well for free and you can also get a one year developer license as well okay so i will tell you how you can get because you know linux enterprise server this rhel is actually paid operating system you can download it for free yes but if you want to update it time to time then you have to pay a fee a fee can be like 300 dollars or 400 dollars like that okay but since we are learning we can sign up as a developer on red hat okay and then we can get one year free license and we can use red hat 8 for one year for free which means we can update it for complete one year okay we will get the latest security patches and all the updates for one year for free okay all right having said that uh, you know red hat is also using two other operating system for testing aisa nahi hai ki koi update aaya to directly red hat uh, linux operating system pe aa gaya nahi us update ko pehle check kiya jata hai aur us update ko check karne ke liye there is a test operating system which is called cent os okay so cent os is also operating system provided by red hat for free updates uh, updates are also free everything is free but this is a test operating system it cannot be used for as a production server okay for testing purposes or for learning purposes you can do it you can download and use but for production use it is not recommended because it will contain some bugs like that okay so this is a testing operating system and apart from centos there is another operating system from red hat it is called fedora okay so fedora is there again the first level testing operating system so it is the no most non stable operating system linux operating system again it is for testing purposes only and it is not recommended to learn anything using fedora because fedora again ye bahut sare bugs hote hain isme more than centos okay so since first level testing fedora mein hogi uske baad centos mein hogi when everything is good then the update is you know pushed to the main operating system red hat enterprise linux okay so yes this is the you know complete thing about red hat linux